threat could be potentially in this upcoming game. What does that mean to you, knowing you can establish your own personal record? Well, this one was very important to me, but you know, it's really not about me, honestly. It's about us going out and winning each and every Saturday. And uh, you know, I'm just proud to be a part of the culture change that's taking place here at Clemson. One of the changes, obviously, I mean, coming into the season, there weren't that many people who thought the offensive line was going to be doing what it's been able to do. Did you even have some questions back in the spring about whether the guys alongside you could perform at this level, and how have you seen that? process go? I don't think there was ever a doubt in my mind as far as the talent we had. Uh, we have done an unbelievable job of recruiting great talent and uh, really good young men. And uh, the one thing you can't coach is experience. So, you know, how they were going to handle it under the big lights was yet to be determined. And something nobody knew until we actually played in the Georgia Dome. But, you know, I think we answered the bell pretty nicely. And uh, I think we're going to continue to improve in the future. You know, next year they're going to lose me. Uh, but Ryan Norton and Jay Guillermo, I mean, they've done an unbelievable job taking advantage of their opportunities, and I think we'll be even better up front next year. What What have you done to kind of help those young guys, you know, with the maturation process and get to this point? Well, initially, I just wanted to teach them the offense. Yeah. I think in years past, when we were at our worst, we understood what we were supposed to do as an offensive line, but we didn't understand the big picture offensively. Uh, so my first goal was to come in and teach those young guys the big picture teach them what the quarterback was going to do, teach them what we were trying to accomplish each and every play, then teach them what our job was up front. And uh, once they saw the whole picture, it all started to make a little bit more sense, and I think that's paid big dividends. How uh, how often during the off season, the summer, in Peeling, did people come up and say, well, you know, we know you're going to be, you know, we know you're going to be okay, but boy, you guys are going to struggle on the offensive line. Yeah, I mean, it was a big question mark, and rightfully so. We lost five seniors, uh, three started, all five played a good bit. Uh, but, you know, just like anything, you know, we'll, everything tells itself in time. Did you tell them? Is that what you told them? Just, yeah, I just told just them. Relax just relax. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's not like, you know, we hadn't been recruiting guys, and it's not like we hadn't been preparing and getting those guys ready for their opportunity. Uh, we had a very, very better bunch, you know, as I mentioned, five seniors. Uh, so it's never really been these young guys' time. You know, finally their time, they stepped up and done what they're supposed to do. What? what? The, the younger guys now who are playing all the time, can you see the attitude in them? Do they feel much better about what they're doing and their role on this team? And you know that they no longer have to worry about whether they can prove that they can play. Right. Yeah, I think the confidence is starting to show, uh, not just on the offensive line, but throughout our whole offense uh, and really throughout our whole team. Uh, and that's what it's all about. You can't go out there and play tentative because you'll make mistakes. You'll play slow, and uh, when you play confident, good things happen.